Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I shall be talking about Cube Buster by Henry Harrius. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out onlinemagic.co. That is my online magic membership site, course, resource, 900 plus videos, live sessions, every week unless I've got a gig and they are uploaded to the course soon unless they what I did yesterday and forgot to record it but I'm going to re-record it today that's a shame isn't it uh, but uh, rope magic coin magic card magic a course on the royal road to card magic uh, which is three quarters finished now and I've just started doing bobo unofficially as well um, it was going to be a coin on uh, course on coin magic but I'm just started following the book and there's some gems in there that I completely forgot about one of which I've just started performing at gigs so if you join you'll find out all about that too and like and subscribe if i haven't said that already cube buster i saw henry harris do this in blackpool and uh, i had mixed feelings i liked the trick and i kind of felt like is it just a a reimagining of rd 360 which it kind of is and is it just, you know, have you made this big thing just to sort of make something else that's kind of the same trick, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And when I started playing with it, I thought, oh, there's something in this. And then I started performing it. And then I did it like once on the street uh, to just sort of try it out and show a couple of people. And when I was in Lisbon recently, I had to find a, a, a piece to go in a street show. I was working with uh, the um, Lisbon Magica, Magica Lisboa. Yeah, uh, festival with Luis de Matos and team and many other glorious magicians. And I had to find a, a routine that wasn't the Cups and Balls because my friend Pete was performing the Cups and Balls in the same show, in the closing show. And I needed to finish with something. And I thought I'd try this. And I was really nervous because the idea of closing a show with a Rubik's Cube trick is weird. Now, I wouldn't close it with something like Venom Cube, which I perform all the time. It didn't feel like a closer. Even though you can close it, I think you can close certain shows with it. But, but for the street, you want something big. And this didn't feel like a big trick. It's kind of happening here. But then I came up with a few ideas that made it play bigger. Henry gave me an idea, which I'm not going to share here. He'd probably be okay with it. But I will share it on my course because it's not so open. I'm, I'm sure he is okay with it, but it's. we'll talk about that in a bit. I'll give you some sort of hints. But the trick is, as is with... Um, RD360, and I'm not suggesting you should know that. I'm just going to hide things here to give, so I don't give the game away. Um, but you have a 7x7 seven seven cube. <laughs> I realise I'm going to expose it if I don't do, if you don't shave things out. Let me just go down here a minute. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, so I'm going to put that there in a minute. There is a gimmick involved. Surprise, surprise. Don't think I'm giving anything away there. But um, this is a 7x7 seven seven cube, and at its basic thing you you put the cube uh on the table they mix it up you put it in a bag so i'm going to solve it like that and then you bring it out and it's solved i know that isn't because i haven't just done the trick but i will have some footage i'll cut into this and it's most basic all right so what you've got there is the same as rd360 which is the same trick with a normal cube um, but with a 7x7 but that isn't because of the nature of this because of the size of it there's a lot more you can do with it and these extra things I thought were just kind of maybe oh, do you need to do that is that going to add to the trick and oh yes it does so it comes out solved but it can also come out solved with a prediction on it or with something written on it and what I mean by that is you, you solve it you show it solved and maybe you've done a card trick beforehand and they said two of hearts and you've got it wrong. Oh, we'll come back to that later. You show it solved, but then you turn it around and it says two of hearts there with the, say you've got the red and the white sides there in red and white, basically. Which is this kind of extra kicker, which is amazing. Now, some magicians will think, well, you know, it's gilding the lily. It really isn't. It works beautifully because you've got this solve, which is impressive, which can be done as a magic trick. You know, you can just put it in the bag and pull it out and it's solved. Or as a challenge, which I like, because again, in the street, it kind of built up, had everybody counting down and all this kind of thing. This plays very differently from RD360 because of the, first of all, you've got this object, which is m more fascinating 
to most people than a Rubik's Cube because we're so used to seeing Rubik's Cubes and even though this is one, it, less people have seen a 7x7 seven seven. and when you get someone mixing it up, it, they know it's real and it's, it's just, there's some, it feels different. It looks more impressive and for me it, it plays better or plays differently than doing it with a normal size cube. And of course it's bigger, it plays bigger because of the, you know, if you're on stage. This has gone in my show as a closer. That is a big thing, to close a show. Those of you that have worked the street know that it's harder to close the show on the street with a trick that works, I think, than, than in theatre, because you've already got their focus. In the street, people are walking away, so if you get a new trick out, there's a chance for people to walk away. The minute I got this out, people are interested in it. You've got this dead time, kind of, when you're solving it in the bag, but again, I had people doing things when that was happening, and the, the image of it was someone, a volunteer out, and the audience and all that was really good. So this is now in my show as a routine, and that very, very rarely happens. I review hundreds of things, and very rarely do I keep them in my routines. Not because I don't like them, just because there's, oops, there's stuff to sort of, <laughs> I stepped on something in. Uh, because there's stuff to carry, and I, you know, to add something to my, uh, uh, my sort of repertoire is, is a rare thing. And that should tell you how good this is. Now, some people say, I don't like Rubik's Cube magic. You, you've got to stop seeing this as Rubik's Cube magic. Think of what's happening. It's not that it's a Rubik's Cube and you're solving it, and you could be doing it that way. It's the, the trick behind that, which is this challenge trick. You've achieved something amazing with one hand, or you've magically achieved something amazing with one hand, your hand's not going near it. With a volunteer there, everybody can see everything clearly. And I, I think this isn't, it's different when you're doing a thing with a Rubik's Cube and you're doing different patterns, but this is, it feels different than a Rubik's Cube magic trick. So I wouldn't sort of say, I'm not going to look at that because I don't like Rubik's Cube magic. Think of it as, think about what it, the image is, what's happening and how it plays theatrically. It's easy, really easy. It does take some setup. This cube, the cube, the thing <laughs> comes blank. So you have to sticker it yourself. Uh, Henry shows you how to do this very easily. And now it does take some time, but it's not hours and hours and hours and hours. It probably took me about an hour, 40 minutes, because I wanted to be super careful because I'm quite clumsy. But I enjoyed that process as well. It comes with templates, so you can create your own reveals. So it doesn't have to be a card thing. It can be many different things. And I do it using an app called Any, Any Card at Any Time, A-E-C-A-A-T. Um, that's all I'm going to say. And it... It's a stunner, but you'll get more ideas the more you see this. It can be anything. It's brilliant. It's easy. It's well made. It's not perfect. The thing, the gimmick, sh there's a thing that RD360 does that secures everything. And this hasn't got that. So a couple of, I did nose it up, I screwed it up once where things weren't in place and it kind of slipped on the way out of the bag. And that's fine because I know how to do it now and it, it's not a problem. But you do have to rehearse this and be aware that things can kind of come undone a little bit if you're not really careful or, or if you're just not a bit careful basically super easy still and once you know it's it's not going to happen so there it is cube buster i think it's great i think it's brilliant and i i'm really pleased i came back from portugal really pleased that i've got this this routine that plays really big that's going to go straight on stage with me as well as the street so i think that's it uh yeah, I reckon that's the lot. So oh, you will need the bags as well. It doesn't come with any bags. But you don't, it's not like uh, some of them where you need the specific size of bag. You can use any bag. You can use a big paper bag for it you know, because of what you're doing. So uh, don't worry too much about that. Anyway, any questions, uh, do email me steve at onlinemagic.co or probably better to put comments below. And thank you, Henry, for sending this to me. And I know I've taken a while to do this, but the reason is because I wanted to wait till I've done it and I knew I was going to do it. I had a feeling it was going to go somewhere. So now you've got someone who's taking it out rather than just sort of looking at it and going, yeah, this is what I think. Which I do sometimes, of course. But any questions, uh, let me know. Comment below and go and have a look now at onlinemagic.co and use the links below if you're going to have a look at it as well. Thanks very much. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. Cheers.